Uh, why should I be sad? I shall live on in all of your personalities. There's a bit of me in each of you. <laughs> you've done. We carbon dioxide bubbles are about to be buried under a pile of oxygen. <laughs> Just fancy meeting all of you here. Hey, when not you not supposed to get blown out on that last breath? That's right, but the lungs simply aren't strong enough to blow us out. <clears throat> we won't get out now. Now where has that child of mine got to? Later, where are you? <laughs> Poor old Hemo. You really detest carbon dioxide, don't you? And yet you just can't get rid of it. It seems such a shame. Even the heart is slowing down. The security forces are sleeping on the job. Let's get them. Charge! <laughs> The old man's heart no longer pumps blood as strongly as it did. The heart valves are getting leaky. <laughs> the power station of the heart can no longer keep up a healthy pulse rate. Oh dear, 50 beats per minute. That's far too slow, oh dear. Oxygen supply to the brain is simply not enough. We'll have to speed up the rate of breathing and the heartbeat. Mm. Hurry, this is urgent. Mm. Hurry up. Mm. Oh, I've got an urgent message for the heart. It's from the brain. Here. Increase the heartbeat from 50 to 65 beats per minute. <laughs> But we're down to 40 already. It just won't work. The heart isn't getting enough oxygen to make it beat any faster. We're done for if the heartbeat won't accelerate. Huh. Mm. Oh, hurry up, Speedy. Oh. Take this to the heart immediately. Okay, I'm on my way. Oh. But I might not arrive. Oh. I'm utterly worn out. Uh-oh, the nerve signals are not getting through. Oh, this is the end. I'm long overdue for retirement anyway. That's it. It's a boy! There's something yellow showing on the left. Something vaguely red somewhere on the left. Sort of red, sort of on the left. I can't use information like that. It's far too vague. 
I require much, much more precision in sensory data. Well, pass on the signals anyway. They'll learn in time. Here's a funny sounding order from the brain. Move the hand sort of to the left to grab a sort of object. What's this? I know it's all very confusing to begin with, but he'll learn quickly enough. You see, a baby is born with all the equipment, but it takes him some time to learn how to use it to recognize colors and shapes and to coordinate his movements. This is what we call perceptual development. So send the message. How's the bloodstream? Water. Who buy my fresh water? Very best quality calcium. Going cheap. Best quality calcium. Just what you need for healthy bones and a strong skeleton. Water. Who buy my fresh water? Water. Who buy my fresh water? Every single child needs calcium. You can't have healthy bones without it. And water. What about water? You've got to keep a baby well hydrated, haven't you? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Stop obstructing the way, you two. These proteins are urgently needed for big muscle building projects. Out of the way, out of the way. Ah, everybody's so busy. I like it. So do I. And there's always such a lot to do with a new life starting out. Look, it's the lymphocyte patrol. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> there are so many things to do, you know, like teaching the defense force about germs, for example. The lymphocyte patrol know that. Oh, yes, they do, because they're here on transfer from the bloodstream of the mother. It's a stopgap arrangement. They're here to keep the body safe from germs and viruses, while the baby is busy training his own police force. Where do they train the policemen? In the thymus gland. That's the body's police college. I'd like to introduce Captain Peter and Lieutenant Claire of the Lymphocyte Patrol. They have been seconded to us from the maternal organism to assist us in setting up our very own security force. These experienced officers will instruct us in counter-infiltration techniques. The Staphylococcus and the Streptococcus. Shoot them on sight. The flu virus is extremely dangerous. Now, who can identify this friendly germ? That's E. coli! And death to all the others! Yes, Daddy. See? It's so good to be home. <laughs> and how's my big son, huh? <laughs> to be an astronaut when I grow 